Nature never makes anything without a purpose and never leaves out what is necessary. Everything that is alive is endowed with soul from its birth to its death. A soul is the first grade of actuality of a natural body having life potentially in it. No one can learn or understand anything in the absence of sense. The soul is characterized by these capacities, self-nutrition, sensation, thinking, and movement. Memory is the scribe of the soul. Soul is that by which primarily we live and perceive and think. Thinking is, in part imagination, in part judgment. We have no evidence as yet about mind or the power to think. It seems to be a widely different kind of soul, differing as what is eternal from what is perishable. It alone is capable of existence in isolation from all other psychic powers. It is necessary to call into counsel the views of our predecessors so that we may avoid their errors. To attain any assured knowledge about the soul is one of the most difficult things in the world. We have divided the virtues of the soul into two groups, the virtues of the character and the virtues of the intellect. The word is a sign or symbol of the impressions or affections of the soul. Knowledge of the soul contributes greatly to the advance of truth in general. Actual knowledge is identical with its object. In general, and in all ways, it is one of the hardest things to gain any conviction about the soul. A friend is simply one soul in two bodies. The high-minded man does not bear grudges, for it is not the mark of a great soul to remember injuries, but to forget them. Reason is a light that God has kindled in the soul.